If you guys have been following my channel for a little bit, you'd know that we are quite invested in Josh Rosen's career. And to be honest, if you are a fan of Josh Rosen or if you've just been watching him throughout his career, you are divided into two camps. One, you think he stinks, or two, you think that he wasn't really given an opportunity to succeed. And before we continue with this video, I figured I'd give you guys an opportunity to vote in the comment section which camp that you currently stand in. In addition to that, I just want to remind you guys we're giving away a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on this channel. And we're going to announce the giveaway winner in the middle of September. In addition to that, we're giving away multiple copies of Madden 22. All you have to do to enter is follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Now that we get all that out of the way, break! Mike Mafia, for those of you guys that really know me and have been following me on Instagram and on Twitter, you know that my biggest kryptonite is I have trouble sleeping at night and I have severe muscle aches. And I think those are very atypical for a 27 year old. So I tried melatonin, but I would wake up groggy as hell the next day and I would still have the muscle aches and I don't even want to go the Brett Favre route. So that brought me to CBD. And thankfully I'm sponsored by Canadip CBD, which is also also a great alternative if you're trying to get off of tobacco dip, but I've never really used tobacco. So for me, I really like the benefits because it gets me to sleep faster. It relaxes me after a very long day and it really, really helps me with muscle and joint pain, which I shouldn't be experiencing as a 27 year old. But if you want to give it a shot, Canadips is so confident in their ability to help you fall asleep that they gave me a promo code Mike 20 to get you 20% off whenever you go to CanadipCBD.com. That's promo promo code Mike 20 at Canada CBD. And trust me, if you're having the same issues that I'm having, this will change your life. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on everybody? I don't know why I'm so invested in Josh Rosen. I think it has to do with the fact that he went to my alma mater, UCLA, and he also happens to be Jewish like me, but there's just something to Josh Rosen that just makes me want to root for the guy. Uh, part of me actually is in the camp of thinking that he hasn't really gotten the greatest opportunity to succeed because when you look at the entire trajectory of his career he hasn't really received the greatest opportunities if you think about it let's dive into it right here before we get to the latest news about him because it's really difficult to defend a quarterback and call him a good quarterback and a player that didn't really get a ton of opportunities when he might be moving towards his fifth team since joining the nfl in the last three years. But let me just give you the tale of the tape here. In the 2018 NFL Draft, Josh Rosen was famously selected with the 10th overall pick, and the Arizona Cardinals brought in a head coach that they would let go of a year later in Steve Wilkes. Now, that entire Arizona Cardinals team was fairly horrible, and likewise, Josh Rosen was also extremely terrible with an abysmal 55% completion percentage, throwing 11 touchdowns to 14 interceptions for a QB rating of 66.7 and getting sacked 45 times behind one of the worst offensive lines in the entire NFL. Josh Rosen was so terrible that the Arizona Cardinals lucked into the number one overall pick and opted to move on from then head coach Steve Wilkes. And that's where something happened to Josh Rosen that typically doesn't happen to quarterbacks that were drafted in the top 10 the year prior. And the Arizona Cardinals decided to draft Kyler Murray with the number one overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft and trade Josh Rosen to the Miami Dolphins for a second round pick and a fifth round pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. And you know, at the time, I actually thought that was a horrific trade for the Arizona Cardinals, but in hindsight, it looked like it may have been a brilliant trade considering what has become of Josh Rosen. Now, during the 2019 season, Rosen was unfortunately placed in a very tough situation once again, and many analysts, myself included, speculated that once again, Josh Rosen is on a team that has no offensive talent at all whatsoever, that's on year one of a rebuild, that isn't expected to win a number of games, and as a result, at the conclusion of this season, once again, there might be a quarterback that will be selected in the first round of the NFL draft that will take the reins from Josh Rosen. 
And believe it or not, I was right, because when Josh Rosen was thrusted into action during the three games that he started and the six games he played in total for the Miami Dolphins, he was only able to complete 53% of his passes for 567 passing yards, one touchdown, and five interceptions for a QB rating of 52. But despite this, I think things will look up for Josh Rosen because the next opportunity he had, despite being a fairly young QB at his his age 23 season was literally being practice squad QB to Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That is one hell of a unique opportunity, and I at least thought that Josh Rosen may have learned a thing or two from watching the greatest of all time prepare for games and practice. But after being a part of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers practice squad from September of 2020 all the way to late December, the San Francisco 49ers decided to take a flyer on Josh Rosen as a result of them dealing with injuries to both Jimmy Garoppolo and Nick Mullins. Now, Rosen was actually active for the 49ers during their last two games, but did not see any action. And on February 8th, 2021, the 49ers would sign him to a one-year contract extension. But in addition to that, the San Francisco 49ers also traded up to the number three pick in the 2021 NFL Draft to select Trey Lance. This resulted in a fairly awkward preseason because Josh Rosen didn't really have a defined role on the 49ers, which brings us to where we are currently after a fairly... I don't know, embarrassing might be a good word for it, a fairly embarrassing showing for the San Francisco 49ers throwing this interception against the Kansas City Chiefs. Josh Rosen came out and cited his excuse as being the fact that he didn't really get a lot of reps in practice, which by the way, that's something I could totally buy considering how they just drafted Trey Lance, they have Jimmy Garoppolo. You're not really thinking, hey, we got to develop Josh Rosen when that happens. Which brings us all the way to this breaking news from Mike Garofalo saying that the San Francisco 49ers are waving QB Josh Rosen. Rosen mentioned recently that he wasn't getting enough reps in practice and he has a chance to latch on elsewhere for the rest of camp now. Which leads me to ponder what's going to be next for Josh Rosen. Where does he exactly go from here? Because at this point, as much as I support the man, he is the epitome of damaged goods. He is going on to his fifth team in his young NFL career, and it's only been three years. He's signed on with rebuilding teams, but to no avail. He's joined contending teams and pseudo contending teams, and this could very much be a case of just very bad luck. But at the same time, if you're a head coach and you're watching Josh Rosen in practice and you're not really impressed, chances are that's the reason why you're selecting a quarterback despite having him on your roster. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think is next for Josh Rosen. And do you think he's a case of just not having a chance or of just not being a good football player? Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.